Alrighty, everybody. Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to make Minecraft and your computer run a lot faster with the introduction of one mod and a couple of programs and editing your Java runtime memory. So, first we're going to go ahead and do the easiest and edit your Java runtime memory. Now, this will vary depending on if you are on XP, Vista, or Windows 7. XP is the easiest to find. You'll go to Control Panel and it'll just show up. Now, for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, the easiest way to find it is just by typing in Java. I apologize for the lag, though. My computer is not agreeing with me right now because of the introduction of Camtasia Studio. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over and click on it. It's going to open up this in the general tab. You want to click on the Java tab and click view. It'll make, it'll open up Java runtime environment settings. Now as you can see my platform is 1.6 product 1.6.0-27 most updated Java out. Now what you're going to want to do is go to runtime parameters. Double click it and now you're going to want to type in negative x capital m x and then whatever megabytes you're going to want to use i actually forgot something here now for instance if you have eight gigs of ram and you want to dedicate eight gigs to it you have to find the megabyte equation because java isn't used to dealing in gigabytes so the negative x m x will always stay the same now these can be different the default is 512 a half of a gig. Mine is now set to 2 gigs in megabytes 2048 because I have a 4 gig RAM. Now all you have to do is hit apply and now it's saved. That'll make your Java allocated 2 gigs or however much you want. Now the next program is Advanced System Care 4. It may seem like this is an antivirus software or something like that. Well, it's not. I'll post the links for it in the description. Now here's what you're going to want to do. I'm not going to show you how to download these programs because I'm pretty sure that all of you watching this will know how to do so yourself. Now, I actually have the full version. You guys, it'll say free here. But you'll still have the ability to use quick care deep care turbo boost and I'm not sure if you get all of the toolbox items but turbo boost you get to set up yourself and as you can see it's gonna turn off my turbo boost and that makes my computer a lot slower now I'm gonna turn on turbo boost Once again, I apologize for the lag. Alright. Now, another thing is, depending on how what your system rating is, mine, for whatever reason right now, will not go above a C. Usually it's at an A. But this comes with advanced system care, and it tells you your CPU, your disk, processes, registry size, network, and RAM usage. Now, depending on your rating, It'll tell you for C, it advises a quick care, and for D or below, it advises a deep care. Now, the next program is in the toolbox of advanced system care. I already have it opened up right here, but it's called Smart Ramp. What you do, and this is actually really high. I'm usually running anywhere from 800 megabytes of my RAM to about 1.2 gigs. Now you're going to want to deep clean it. It's going to lag. I usually deep clean twice and then smart clean or no memory released. 
So 1.6 right now is my minimum, unless it goes down by itself. Now if you minimize it, it will continue to sit here and monitor your CPU usage, your RAM, and your page usage, which will also continue to decrease. Now, the most important program here is probably going to be Game Booster 3, also made by Iobit. Again, I'm not going to show you how to download it, but the link will be in the description. So what happens when you open up Game Booster 3? Is there's a lot of nice tools that can come with it. Now, say you download this for Minecraft, and this will work for any other game. Is you drag the launcher for the game into Game Booster's game box. Now, when you double click on it, which I'm not going to because it will shut all of this down, it will switch to what's called gaming mode, which cuts off 90% of your processors, uh, processes, sorry, and decreases your overall RAM and CPU usage, allowing the game to use more. I'll show you that actually near the end of this. Now the next thing is going to be the mod for Minecraft. This mod is called Optifine or Optimine, depends on how you want to say it. Some people call Optifog, it's all there. Now, the old version there was only one, but now there's three different versions for this. There's the classic, which includes support for HD textures, fonts, better grass, MC patch are not needed. Then there's the smooth version, which removes lag spikes, and then if you have a multi-threaded core or dual core, like mine, my i3, you have the multi-threaded. Now I've downloaded all three for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first one will look like this after you go through the ad fly and so will every other one. I think this one, yeah. They're all right there. Download at hawkshare.com for free. Now that we don't need this anymore because I've already downloaded every one. that anymore. Alright, now here are all three of them. I'm just going to drag them to my desktop. Now for those of you who don't know how to mod Minecraft, you're going to need an archiver, such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now, we need to get to our roaming folder. The way to do that is, in one case, you can type percent app data percent into your search tab and that will get to your roaming folder now another way is to type in run and then for people that like to do that that will also open up your roaming folder now the third and final way that I know of is to open up minecraft Actually, I'm not going to show you guys this part because it takes entirely too long. So you're going to open up Minecraft, you're going to log in, and then go to your Mods and Texture Packs folder and click Open Folder. That'll open up your roaming folder. Now, I'm actually going to pause the video here, and I will be right back. Alrighty, well, I'm back now. Um, Let's just close that up. You know what? No, I'm going to leave that open. Alright, well, now, the next step is installing the Optifine that's right for you. Now, this one right here is for dual core processors. This one and this one are basically identical. This is the classic, and actually this should be at the end, and this is the updated. Now, the classic and the updated are going to work about the same. 
they're about the same size and everything. Now the dual core, all that's going to do is allow you to use dual core on your processor, which actually won't increase that much. So now what you're going to want to do is go to your roaming folder. Oops. And go into dot Minecraft bin and then your minecraft.jar right click and open with your archiver mine is winrar now you can exit out of that you won't need it anymore okay now in here you're not going to know what any of this stuff is they're all just java class files and such now we're going to move this uh, where is it and the one I use is the one for dual core CPUs. Now whichever one you use, open with WinRAR Archiver. Now I've already installed the mod so I'm not going to do it again. But here's what you do. You're just going to highlight all of this and then drag and drop. It's going to open up a little window like this and ask you okay, cancel, yada yada yada. I'm gonna cancel, you guys hit okay. Now when you're done, X out of both of these. Now, if I were you, I would advise you to do it on a fresh Minecraft Dodge R with no other mods installed because there can be conflicts. It will cause black screen sometime, sometimes. <clears throat> so if I were you, I'd base all of my mods around Optimine if you need to. If you need Optimine this bad, then you may want to base all of your other mods around it. Now, load up your Minecraft and it should work. Go into single player, that yeah, single player, and I've already created a world. Now, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna open up your options, video settings, and now look at all of the new settings you have. Uh, for best results, turn graphics to fast, render distance can be whatever you like, and performance to max FPS. Your GUI scale can be whatever you want, Better grass you can have on for best results. Uh, you want it on off. Uh, mini map level. I'm gonna actually turn mine up. Now fog you can have as whatever you want. Now I've messed around with it quite a little bit, and the um, what's this called? Now, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, some of which I haven't even seen. Now, if you hold it over any of which... It'll tell you what it does. But, as far as this goes, you can manage the cloud height. the grass, rain and snow, stars, clear water, <clears throat> which since I'm by a lake you can see the difference. There's the normal water and there's with clear water on. It's a lot nicer, more realistic. Uh, you can actually turn sky off. <laughs> um, water, you can turn to fast. Clouds fast, that's what I would recommend. And in world, you can change a lot of stuff. Now, preloaded chunks. A chunk is 16 blocks by 16 blocks on the map. By 16 blocks. It's a 16 block block. If you want to say it like that. Now, uh, chunks make up the world of Minecraft. Now, if they're preloaded, that will increase your FPS. So I highly, highly advise you to turn on preloaded chunks as high as you can. Now, just to show you, this computer normally runs about, I would say, 3 FPS in Minecraft. Now, I'm running fancy on a lot of stuff, and even though I'm only running 11 FPS, I'm also getting 80, 
anywhere from 36 to 80 chunk updates, which is a lot, which will make my chunks run a lot smoother. Most of the times that you lag in Minecraft is because you're walking on chunks that haven't been updated and they're not ready to run. And with the clear water also, it's a lot nicer and you can see underground better, or underwater better. No, unlike most of the other mods, this won't directly affect your game or add new blocks or anything like that, but it will make your performance a drastic increase. Because I have no fog on. I have it on far. And yet, it still runs beautifully. I have my smooth lighting on, which makes torches and the sun look a lot nicer. And I think that's just about it for the tutorial. That's all I can really show to you guys. Um, let's recap, though. And also, my FPF, or FPS is going to suffer drastically because I'm using Camtasia to record. So let's do a quick recap. Advanced System Care, Game Booster, Smart RAM, and Optimine. Together with those three programs, you should increase in FPS and it should make your overall computer run a lot nicer. So that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll see you guys some other time with a new tutorial. See ya.